Chris Snee was always convinced he could squeeze one more season out of his NFL career, but the closer and closer he got to training camp, the more he realized that his surgically repaired right elbow just wasn't going to be ready. And that's what led him to Monday when the four-time Pro Bowler and two-time Super Bowl champion guard announced his retirement after 10 long NFL seasons. And it was a day that his coach and father-in-law, Tom Coughlin, said was a sad, sad day for the entire Giants organization. He was in here, you know, during the summer, just trying to get himself in a position where he could do the things required for him at his position, and especially the, the tremendous... Uh, way in which he puts pressure on himself to perform at the highest level, but uh, it's it was it, it was a sad day. Definitely gonna gonna miss his presence uh, on the field and in, in the locker room, on the practice field, all those all those all those things. But uh, you know, uh, obviously, uh, you know, his body just went and let him play. I had to admit that I can no longer play, and. Uh, it's a sad day, but, uh, you know, one that, you know, once I leave here, I'll be at peace with. So for the first time since 2003, the Giants opened training camp without Chris Snee penciled in as their starting right guard. But at least they did get several other players back. Running back David Wilson finally got his medical clearance to resume practice after neck surgery. And even left tackle Will Beattie and receiver Mario Manningham participated in the conditioning drills. So the only player that won't be on the field when the Giants open practice on Tuesday is linebacker John Beeson, who's out for most of the summer on the physically unable to perform list. Other than that, the Giants are as close to full strength as they've been in quite some time. With the Giants, Ralph Bacchiano, SNY.